What do we gotta do right it's now? It's time to reveal that something that you guys have been waiting for, something we have been waiting for. Ooh. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are finally back on our 2018 Dodge Charger Pursuit vehicle. And we got a lot of packages in, mainly everything to put that interior completely back together and a few appearance mods to make this thing look even more aggressive. So let's go ahead and move over to these packages, crack them open and we'll go from there. So this is what we got here. We got a few aftermarket parts, starting with our rear diffuser. I like that it came in high gloss black. That's definitely gonna match our chrome exhaust tips. And uh, I don't have to paint it, man. That actually looks really good, high gloss black. I didn't even know we ordered high gloss black. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this color right here, I think, but I don't care. We'll, we'll go with that. We're not oh, gonna yeah, complain we'll go about it. But Go ahead and go back to this Ooh. thing right here. This is our Ooh. rear window windshield louver. I don't know what you call it, but I think this is just gonna set it off a little bit better, make it a little bit more aggressive. Uh, what do you think about painting it? Paint it, would, it would look nice matching that, but that's gonna be a lot of work. But then again, our wing. Our wing, we got a Same wing color. too. This is like the original OEM style wing, but we did get a wicker bill with it. I think that's what you call it. This is translucent, it is uh, clear, so it just has a little sheeting over it to protect it. And it's made in USA, as you you can tell yeah, there made in usa and i think this is just gonna set off the whole entire rear end but our main thing is our airbag and seat belts this airbag is definitely gonna help us put our roof liner basically everything else back together and then we got our seat belts that got rebuilt by safety restore huge shout out to them guys over there they definitely have a fast turnaround time but right now let's go ahead and jump onto the interior and try to put this thing back together So that is it for the interior. It is 100% complete. The headliner is in, everything is plugged up, everything is fastened down. Got that dome light working, looks pretty cool. And also we got the spotlight working, the pillars in, all that good stuff. Also the seat belts are in, so huge shout out to Safety Restore once again. But all that it's lacking is really just a nice detail on the inside, but we'll save that for later. Let's jump onto the outside and actually try to install that diffuser. Hopefully we don't have to take off that rear bumper, but looking at this one, it looks like it just clips right off. So let's go ahead and actually throw some quick jacks underneath that car and lift it up. And hopefully we can just snap this thing right in.
So the diffuser is on halfway, not really popping in because we did run into a little issue and it is because we don't have the SRT scat pack type rear bumper, which this diffuser is made for, which sucks because it won't even snap in. As you can tell right here, it's way out of shape. It goes straight down as of this, it just goes flat like this. So, which means that we can't really pop this rear diffuser on because it looks super sick. I mean, just stand back, dude, if dude, that thing worked. It looks sick, but I think we got a few ideas of how we can make it work. We're gonna have to interchange a few things here and there, yeah, fuse we're, them together. Yeah, we're thinking about just cutting this little square off right alongside, make a nice little cut with a, a little tool and then see if we can glue it on here and maybe, you know. Like melt it together yeah, pretty much and then we'll sand the whole entire thing and probably paint it, right? Paint it black, make it work. Unless we can find a used uh, rear bumper for a Hellcat, you know what I mean? That would look sick as well, but that would be the easier option, clearly the diffuser. But for now, let's move on. Let's go ahead and see if we can install this rear spoiler and then that wicker bill. Alright, so the spoiler is finally installed and I gotta say this thing looks absolutely aggressive. I mean, just look at the side angle. The thing just goes straight up. Now, I like how this is actually black and then got a little bit of tint right here, a little clear tint. We thought it was all gonna be clear, or no, I thought it was gonna be all clear. Yeah, well, I didn't know, I didn't know exactly what it was, but once we peeled that wrap off, it came out to be absolutely amazing. We do uh, think that we need to paint this. Should we paint this Dude, high gloss? Dude, I think we should paint everything high gloss black, including that lava right there and when we modify our Because custom. since this is the high gloss, is gonna be high gloss black, it's all gonna look really well. But dude, I gotta say, this thing looks absolutely more aggressive now with that spoiler and that little wicker bill thing that right there. That thousand pounds of downforce right there. Thousand pounds of horsepower. But we're definitely <laughs> gonna need all this downforce for what is coming real soon to this thing. We're super excited, You're just gonna have to stay tuned. But right now, we're gonna make this rear end just look a little bit more better by removing these little Dodge Chrome emblems right there. And we're gonna go ahead and tint this so i think it's gonna look really good we got the tent right here so let's go ahead and see if we can get that off without scratching that tail light and install our tent All right, so the tent is on and I think it looks super sick. It looks way better without no letters and everything's just nice and all black. But let us know what you think about that. But it is super late, so we're gonna have to catch you guys in the morning. All right, so it is the next day here. We got both diffusers set on this rack right here and we're about to modify them a little bit. Try to see if we can make something work. Pretty much fuse this diffuser onto this diffuser and see if we can come up with something. If not, we'll just scrap the idea, probably run a stock one or try to find an aftermarket one that'll work with this bumper. But for now, let's see what we can come up with and give it a shot.
right, so a little change of plans. Instead of actually cutting up our stock diffuser, we went ahead and actually epoxied this thing onto it, and it's actually really sturdy. All we're gonna have to do is actually go around the edges with some fiberglass, make sure we smooth everything out. Then we're gonna prime this sucker in and hopefully get it nice and smooth. And then in the meantime, while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and move on to a lower over here and actually sand the whole entire thing down. And we might as well just go ahead and remove our rear wing so we can paint everything high gloss black at once, and I think everything's gonna turn out really nicely. So let's go ahead, try to finish this thing up, and then we're gonna probably try to get everything prepped for some paint. Alrighty guys, so finally all three of those panels are finally prepped. They're ready for paint. Right now we're actually about to pull out the cop car. We'll let Thomas do it since he's already in the driver's seat. Also cover up the Ferrari and just prep our whole entire area and then we're gonna mix up some black paint. All right, so we just threw our black base coat down. Everything went down nice and smooth. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually mix up our clear. Right now our paint is actually baking in our shop because we did fire up our heater for the first time this winter. I guess you can say, is it winter time? It's, yeah. it's still fall, it's about to be winter time. Yeah, this fall, well, we fired it up. It's gonna speed our process up a lot quicker. So let me go ahead and mix up our clear. Then we're gonna go in there and shoot some clear coat.
this stuff actually dry overnight and it looks absolutely amazing. There is a little bit of trash, but that's bound to happen in this garage. Also, if you look really closely, you can see a little bit of metallic because we did actually use GTR paint, but I think it's still gonna look good. We may buffer polish it later, I don't know, but I think it's dry enough for us to install. So let's go ahead and actually pull the police car back in here and probably start installing. What do you want to start with? Uh, say the diffuser, the diffuser man. Dude. Let's do it. I can't man, believe look. we just custom made that. I think it's gonna look good. Oh yeah, dude, it looks Because really good. I, I was actually looking some stuff up and they don't even make diffusers for the cop car. And a lot of people were telling me that as well. But as you can uh, see here, we kind of rigged something up and I think it'll look good. So let's go ahead and start installing this stuff. sucker works don't it that's a flashlight right there i might need to use that whenever uh, we go painting something else because you know it gets dark oh, yeah. sometimes i need to check out the car paint it's gonna be legit right there dude that rear tail light looks amazing once you turn the light on dude, that looks sick i love how it's just like a red outline right there just one nice solid piece instead of like the white reverse lights and stuff that that actually looks really good but right now let's make it even look better um, i think i'm just gonna slap this sucker on there man that's yeah, all it needs right the good thing about the way we modified this is it uses the stock clips and everything it's gonna clip right into place and uh you think we need to drill these holes out for uh for two more clips yeah two might more as clips well at the bottom easily could let's go let's do it it's just plastic So the diffuser is on and it actually turned out a lot better than we thought. It almost looks like it was factory made right there. It did take a little bit of time, but I think it was definitely worth it. Right now we're actually gonna move on to the wing, install that first, and then we're actually gonna move on to the lover and finish off this rear end. So check out the complete rear end of this thing. It came out absolutely amazing. It looks really aggressive now. Dude. Dude, it's like perfect. My favorite part is probably this wing and the diffuser, just because how aggressive the diffuser looks. And you can't really get it unless you actually put in some fabricating work and do that yourself, which was not too hard. Just took some time, but dude, it came out perfect. And this wing right here, I gotta say, it looks freaking aggressive. That's probably my favorite because you know the Viper is like super yeah, angled off. Yeah, it looks off. just like the Viper and it's super aggressive, dude. It's perfect. But as for this uh, Lover right here, looks really good painted, but I don't know. Some people might not like it. Some people might like it. I mean, I think uh, personally it's growing on me right now. It looks pretty good. Yeah, you dude, know? it does look pretty mean. I don't know what look that is but it's like a you know extra aggressiveness really yeah i don't know what, where this comes from but it does look good some people might not like it some people will let like us know it. what you guys think yeah let us know what you think i mean heck it might even fly off on its own because these mountain points are not so great and if it does you know it's meant to be but right. other than that dude this thing is perfect dude. i love the way the tail light looks you can't forget oh that. yeah i forgot we did the tent as well yeah, tent of that look at that the red line all the way around looks perfect dude that looks aggressive so right now what do we got to do right it's now? It's time to reveal that something that you guys have been waiting for, something we have been waiting for. Oh, dude, it's going to complete... We're done, with, we're, we're done with the pretty much the, the appearance, appearance mods. Yeah, the appearance mods, unless we find out something else that's going to make this thing look more aggressive. Maybe some wheels, I don't know. But right now, we're, Let's should do we it. bring it out? Let's bring it out. So here it is, guys. We are finally going to boost our all-wheel drive Dodge Charger, and Pro Charger is making it happen. That was our ultimate goal, was to boost our police car, dude. An all-wheel drive police all -wheel car, drive. Not a lot of people can do that. Pro Charger stepped in, and they hooked us up with the full supercharger kit, which is going to be super insane for our car. This thing is going to absolutely be a beast. So we are super excited to work with Pro Charger on this police car, and it's going to be crazy. So stay tuned for the next video where we actually start installing this thing. So with that being said, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything, because this is coming here real soon also guys you might have noticed the brand new police squad shirt be sure to copy one of these these are very limited and also be sure to copy one of these 
our brand new hoodie design. These are very limited. You know, we only drop like 100 of these and they sell out really quick. So be sure to visit goonsquad.com and help support your boys. Oh, and also we did get a couple new hats on the website as well. So be sure to check them out. And also be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. So with all that being said, be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.